Our next hero, Johnny Jankowski, always wanted to be a world champion athlete. Hampered by injuries and swimming and track, Johnny finally found championship status in rodeo. Now, riding 2,000-pound bulls is a risky enough sport for a man, and certainly no way to treat a lady. Johnny Jankowski is the world's champion bull rider. No way to treat a lady. Once the gate opens up, it's just you and him, and, and just go for it. <laughs> it's a rush, it's a charge, it's the adrenaline, uh, it's the crowd, it's, the, it's my name and lights. I don't care, it's the oddity of the sport. I guess it's all kinds of things that all rolled into one, that's why I do it. Lynn Jankowski, or Johnny to her friends, is the reigning women's rodeo world champion bull rider. Winning the championship in 1986 was the realization of a lifelong goal, to become a world-class athlete. Jankowski! Now Johnny suffered a very... But rodeo was not her first choice. In 1976, at the age of 22, she qualified for the Olympic trials in the pentathlon. But in a track meet just before the trials, she hit a hurdle and fractured her back. The next year, on an impulse, she tried rodeo. I really wish the very first time I went out on this sport that I would have got kicked or trampled on so bad. It would have knocked some sense into me, but it didn't happen. It, it was a rush and a thrill, and it just intrigued me to go and do it and try harder. Determined to be the best, Johnny went to bull riding school in Fountain, Colorado. The only woman among 105 guys, she graduated second in the class and wearing a second face. I took a, a hoof in the face and it literally blew my face apart and took 161 stitches to, on the outside to put it back together and and I, I mean at that time I thought, my God, I'm never going to ride bulls again. If I ever take one in the face, that's it. And then I took one in the face. This is my second face, but you know, in my case it was worked out better, you know, what can I say? Things healed, and by 1979, Johnny had become the leading contender for the world bull riding title. But in the finals in San Antonio, disaster struck again. While doing her warm-up stretches behind the chutes, one of the bulls broke out of a catch pen and charged her, ramming her into a cement wall, breaking her leg and knocking her both out of the competition and out of rodeo. For four years, she worked a straight job for the city of Billings, Montana. But rodeo was in her blood. So obviously I don't do it for the money. <laughs> There's not a lot of money in it. There's just really none at all. And, and it's probably the worst addiction I think anybody can have is rodeo. In 1984, she decided on a comeback. It was now or never if she was ever going to be a world-class champion. This time she would sacrifice everything to be the best. Uh, I taped images on my mirror, on my refrigerators. I will win. I have done nothing not to deserve to win. You know, I plastered posters around uh, world champion bull riders, people I wanted to be like or mimic or imitate. In my mind, that's all there was. I, I walked, I slept, I talked, I ate bull riding, and that was it. There was no other, there was no other part of my life. That was, that was the sole reason for my survival. By this time, Johnny had become very good at surviving, and that talent came in handy again shortly after her comeback. And that was the first time probably in my career I really thought I was going to die because everything that could go wrong was happening during that ride. The bull was going so fast, I knew the clown couldn't catch us. Uh, he had trampled on my legs so much that I couldn't keep up with him. And, they were, and I was just hanging, literally, and uh, I never did lose consciousness. I stayed awake through the whole thing, unfortunately, and, just, and it was like slow motion. I hear people talk about that, like car wrecks. You know, you just you feel the hits on the wall, and, and it, was, it was crazy. And, uh, and after that, I said, that's it. This is over. I am never going to do it. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> if I live through this, <laughs> it'll be a miracle. But live, she did. And she went on defying death like a cat with nine lives to compete for the championship. Last year's finals, when I won the world title, I faced a chance of losing my leg. I got stepped on early in competition. The night before her final ride, Johnny's leg swelled to twice its normal size. The skin was splitting down the back. 
The doctor warned her it might need to be amputated and that another hard knock on it could cause a heart attack. The next day, Johnny arrived for her final ride in terrible pain and on crutches and left world champion. I think I make people smile out there. They're a little bit in awe of you. I think you're a little bit of a, an actress. You're a little bit of a, a celebrity. You're a little bit of an oddity. You're a little bit of a, a fantasy. Some of them wish they had the guts to do what I do. But in my case, it doesn't take guts. If you really love to do it, God, go do it. I don't care what people say. Go crazy.